what have you learned about uh, developing Optimus, about applying, integrating this kind of real world AI into the space of robotic manipulation, just humanoid robotics? What are some interesting, tiny or big things you've understood? I was surprised at the fact that we had to develop every part of the robot ourselves, um, that there were no off-the-shelf motors, electronics, sensors. Like, we had to develop everything. Um, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't actually find a source of electric motors for any amount of money. Um, so it's not even just uh, the, the efficient and expensive. It's like a- anything. There's not a... No. Uh, the actuators, everything. Everything has to be yeah. designed from scratch. We tried hard to find anything that was... Because you think of how many electric motors are made in the world. Mm-hmm. There's like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of electric motor designs. Um, n- none of them were suitable for a humanoid robot. Literally none. So we had to develop our own design, design it specifically for for what a humanoid robot needs. How hard was it to design something that can be mass manufactured, could be relatively inexpensive? I mean, if you compare it to Boston Dynamics Atlas, it's a very expensive robot. It is designed to be manufactured in the same way they would make a car. And I think ultimately we can make Optimus for less than the cost of a car. It should be, because if you look at the mass of the robot, it's much smaller, and the car has many actuators in it. The car has more actuators than the robot. But there is, uh, the actuators are kind of interesting on a humanoid robot, with the fingers. So Optimus has really nice hands and fingers, you know? Yeah. (laughs) And they can do some interesting manipulation. Soft, soft touch robotics. I mean, one of the tests, uh, goals I have is can it, can it pick up a needle and a thread and thread the needle just by looking how far away are we from that just by looking just by looking uh, maybe a year hmm. although I go back to I'm optimistic on time the work that we're doing in the car will translate to the robot the perception or the also the control the no the controls are different but the the video in controls out hmm. um, the, the car is a robot on four wheels the the, the Optimus is a robot with hands and legs. So you but, can just... They're, they're, very, they're very similar. So the entire machinery of the learning process yeah. end-to-end is just you just have a different set of controls. Optimus will figure out how to do things by watching videos. <laughs>